as well as one that I haven't shared with you and let you know who he is in my collection. So, a surprise! <laughs> Hello, I'm Yvonne, and welcome to Having You On. It's Theme Thursday announcement time, and I'm so glad you're here because I have a very interesting topic I wanted to share with you, as well as share Greta <laughs> for Theme Thursday announcement. I'm going to share some others in my collection as well. And this week is a theme we haven't done in a while. It's time for bugs. All kinds of bugs. We have some buzzy bees going on here and I'm gonna go ahead and dress Greta in some buzzy bees as well as what am I gonna talk about? Well I thought I would share with you because I'm kind of going through my collection and kind of thinning it out a little bit because I'm overwhelmed and I wanted to talk about this with you. Is it hard for you to uh, thin out your collection or sometimes it's a necessity <laughs> and other times you just uh, I guess I don't know you might just uh, want to make room for some new ones coming in or a particular sculpt that you really like and so you will have to sell some to or one to buy a particular sculpt I just want to know uh, how you how you go about that. For me, it's very, 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 very difficult for me to even think about, um, you know, uh, I guess the word is letting go of particular reborns. This is really harder for me. Can you see her? I hope so. <laughs> She looks cute in that, but I wanted to add these fun little ruffly pants as well because it goes with the top, I thought went really nice. <laughs> Although you won't be able to see the back, but I just wanted to make sure you can see. So for me, it's just really hard. I First off, I would get a particular reborn or, or a sculpt and I just the reason I got it is because I loved it, right? I love the sculpt and I wanted to have it in my collection. But uh, letting go is, is really hard for me. Um, it's more like I find myself, well, I'm not really paying that much attention to a particular reborn and why haven't I? And I thought, well, I realized that maybe I just would prefer a different reborn to interact with. I'm gonna put these cute little socks on. They remind me of bees. <laughs> even though they might be considered more boy-like, but I just like the color and it reminded me of a buzzy, buzzy bee. I have some absolute favorites that I will not be uh, letting go. I don't know. I don't know if ever I could ever let go of some of them, um, but I don't know. I just, it was something I wanted to talk about if it's harder for you. I know there are some collectors that would prefer having the newest sculpts in their collection and so they are constantly rotating certain sculpts out and to able to get the newer sculpts in but for me i just i just uh just fall in love with a certain sculpt that uh is out or has been out for a long time i do have some favorites that i don't even have in my collection yet and they're older sculpts so i'm always on the lookout little yellow bow. I'm always on the lookout for these older sculpts as well. But then again, I have the same problem that if I have a certain amount overboard, <laughs> I won't have enough room or feel overwhelmed that I may not be able to pay enough attention to what I have in my collection. So yeah, <laughs> I want to <laughs> This little, see if I can figure this out. I should have looked at it. Nope. Oh, that's it. Okay, I figured it out. Well, okay. <laughs> Surprised myself. I actually did it. Well, who knows? <laughs> oh, I'm just very mechanical. I just figure things out, I guess, without trying sometimes. <laughs> but a cute little passy going on there. And I thought I'd give her a little buzzy bee to play with the safe kind. <laughs> 
a little crocheted one. It's nice and safe. And of course, a little bee bottle so you're ready. <laughs> As I do every week, I have an alternative for you, and that'll be coming up later in this video. I'll share it with you, but come along with me. I have some rewards for you to see. I bet you knew that. <laughs> come along. You get to see which ones they are. I have a surprise for you. Different ones. Come on. Let's go take a look. Be surprised. Did you hear that? <laughs> be surprised. <laughs> Oh, I'm so silly. Come along with me. I have Lee Inn and Penny here with me, and they are set for this week's theme. But I decided to put a little twist on it to include something that would normally would be considered a bug, but something that you might find outside in the garden. What else can you find in your garden? Well, you might find some snails. And although they're not really a bug, <laughs> I thought they would include them, kind of grouping them together with bugs because we don't get many opportunities to dress our reborns in snails as well. <laughs> so I just wanted to share both my girls dressed in Jim Marie dresses with three little snails traveling along the bottom of the dress. And it looks like Leanne actually found a snail. Normally I wouldn't allow that. No snails in the house, but okay. It's just too hot to go outside, so bring them on in. <laughs> I know the bugs want to come in too. <laughs> so come along with me and I have some more bugaboos to share with you. Did that rhyme? Here are my Sandy twins, and they're set for this week's theme Thursday. I have Morgan in a vintage dress that I absolutely love. It is a seersucker dress, and I have fond memories of seersucker <laughs> outfits that I wore because just to stay cool in the summertime, and seersucker and summer go together. I think originally they came out, I don't know for sure, I wasn't, I don't, I didn't know at the time, but uh, I think it came out because it was something you didn't have to iron, right? You didn't have to iron Sarah Zucker, but I still do. Look at the little tiny little ladybug dots that she has also in her little hair clip as well. Look at that. Look at that. Spread the little ladybugs around. <laughs> I know that you're looking for some ladybugs in your dolly wardrobe. Go looking. Go looking because they're bugs. But look at what Huey found. What did you find, Huey? You're holding it. Yeah, I don't know what kind of bug that is. Yeah, does that bother you when you see bugs? You don't know what they are. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Is that an ant or is that a bee? I don't know. I don't know what that is. But I do know that you have the hungry caterpillar on your little loungewear going on. Yep, you have that hungry caterpillar. Well, that's okay because I know it's going to turn into a butterfly. Yeah. <laughs> do have fun with this week's theme. Go looking. I know you're looking right now. I know that you have some. Perhaps you have some butterflies, or some ladybugs, or some bees, or you might have some dragonflies. Go look it. See what you can find and share your reborn for theme Thursday. <gasps> Come along with me. I have some more for you <laughs> to see which ones will they be. Should I, should I get a net to capture all these bugs? <laughs> Here we go. Come along. I left the door open and look who I found. <laughs> had fluttered in but Millie Rose and she's set for this week's theme Thursday because she's a little buckaboo <laughs> oh oh some bugs get tired oh well you enjoy your little nap and wake up later and get a chance to flutter around <laughs> Speaking of that, come along with me. I have some more reborns to share with you. Here we go. Here is Azrael, but who else would it be? I so wanted to share him with you for this week's theme Thursday. I came upon this overalls and it was perfect <laughs> because it has some bees as well as a beetle. And he has a little rattle that has, <gasps> the letter B and it's a B get it B B B yeah <laughs> well I'm getting to what the alternative is for this week and it is anything that begins with the letter B yeah think about that bibs bonnets booties bottles and go look at 
go looking for the alternative for this week's Theme Thursday. Another opportunity to share some more Reborns in your collection for this week's Theme Thursday. Or if you want to do bugs, that's good too. <laughs> But do have fun. You know that I just can't stop laughing at my own self because I just I just love this time sharing with you and just having fun. And that's what it's all about. Just having fun and sharing your reborns. I absolutely love this hobby and get to know people that I would have never met if it weren't for this hobby. And so I'm always grateful for that as well. So come along with me. I have a surprise for you. <laughs> Here we go. Get to go meet someone new. And who will it be? Oh, you just let me do it again. You did. You did. Here is my newest baby. <laughs> I hope you got that baby to my collection. And he's set for this week's theme Thursday. I thought it would be perfect to introduce him in a video involving bees. <laughs> for babies oh <laughs> it's almost painful <laughs> i hope i don't get stung in the comments and i want to introduce to you he has a name if you follow me on facebook and instagram you already know his name but his name is gaku gaku g-a-k-u gaku it's a japanese surname it's also a name of a famous scientist japanese scientist but it's also, I, I thought it was such a great name because it reminds me of the sounds that babies make, right? They go ga ga and they coo. There was a giveaway last week and you get to find out who the winner is coming up. But I have another baby to share with you. Oh my, let me do it again. And please subscribe while you're at it. Come along with me. Here is Tuning. You haven't seen her in a long while, and I thought I would share her with you. She is set for this week's theme Thursday. She has sort of a graphic design of ladybugs going on. I didn't even remember that I had this outfit. Well, I I was looking and I thought, does that have a bug on it? And look, it does. <laughs> So you'll be surprised too once you go looking through your own dolly wardrobe of what you'll find for this week's theme Thursday of bugs or anything that begins with the letter B. So go looking and see what you can find for this week's theme Thursday and share your reborn for theme Thursday. It's all about having fun. Oh, and coming up, let's go find out who the winner is. So come along with me. <laughs> Refresh your memory. This is a kissy kissy newborn size with a little puppy dog on it doing all sorts of superhero things as well as a little wonders, a little cute little overall sailor outfit sort of. It has little sailboats on it as well as little anchors. It's ever so sweet. And those that injured were the ones that said in the comments please enter me that way i knew that you wanted to enter the giveaway so i only have your name on this list and accidentally uh, somebody's name got put on twice so i just crossed it out so you understand when you see this list so let's go find out who the winner is and please contact me once you hear your name right now, I don't know who's going to win, but you know who I'm going to ask. She lives over there in a little dot and she tells me what to do all the time, and even though I don't ask her, but I'm going to ask for help right now. So let's go find out. Alexa, pick a number between one and, oh, I don't know what it is. Sorry, I'm not sure about that. I know. <laughs> let's try again. Uh, Alexa, pick a number between 1 and 77. There's a number between 1 and 77. It's 66. 66. Wow, let's go find out who that is. Let's find out who this is. Oh, it is Becca's. Oh, there you go. Becca's Happy Place. Please contact me on Instagram or Facebook and uh, share your uh, mailing information so I can mail off the prize to you. And congratulations to you. And thank you so much for those that entered. There will be more giveaways coming up. 
I'm Yvonne. Thank you so much for watching Having You On. Theme Thursday, bring the community together one theme day at a time. Do take care of yourselves. That's all for now. The Reborn Feel Good Channel.